sponsors Big Brother. Do you know where I am? Dark corridors. One way moves. The smell of freshly laid carpet. There can only be one place. The all new Big Brother house! Woohoo! Uh, hello everybody and welcome whoa, to uh, Big Brother, Big Brother's little brother even, uh, 2001, where we are back, plus a year, 2002. In just 29 minutes, uh, Big Brother will muscle its way onto our TV screens and take over our lives for the next nine weeks. And of course, BBLB, aka Big Brother's little brother, will bring you all the exclusives. The first big exclusive today, obviously, is the Big Brother house itself. We've got loads to show you today. It's an absolutely packed show. We're going to try and fit as much in as we possibly can. First up, and I know this is going to sound slightly weird, but check out the grass. It's pitch and putt-esque. That's all I can tell you. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. We've got many exclusives today. Uh, they have a lawnmower to keep this nice and tended. Let's sincerely hope they do. Um, there are many things to tell you. Um, Facts include, we have 57, 57 one-way mirrors around the house and the garden. We have 33 cameras, 50, 50 microphones, and not 10, but 12 new housemates whose every move will be monitored 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, uh, an amateur's glance, and that's all I am, uh, the house looks a lot plusher. First things first, the pool. How nice is this? And how lovely does it look? Uh, as you can see, the rain's fallen on it, but still, it's just dry beautifully. Uh, it's a lovely pool, and we just... I'm thinking Malta, maybe Cyprus with that, but let's go and check uh, the temperature exactly as it is right now. Let's just see. That's a very, very charitable 28 or uh, 82 Fahrenheit. Next thing uh, that's new is the vegetable garden. The vegetable garden, I have to say, is absolutely massive. Uh, to give you a little bit of a rundown as to what we have here, uh, we exclusively reveal we have 30 potato plants, which is uh, my dad will testify over there, 50 carrot plants, 40 radishes, 30 cabbages, 50 lettuces, uh, 20 broad beans, 18 tomato plants, and clumps of basil and spinach. Also on the fruit steaks, uh, 12 strawberry bushes, the birds will be at them, let me assure you, uh, three rhubarbs, three gooseberries, and three slightly tart red currant bushes also in the garden. But the one thing uh, we always have here every single year, and we love them dearly, are our lovely chickens. We have a chicken coop here, and delighted to be joined uh, by, well, uh, our chicken breed, if you want to be very good, uh, Bob M uh, Nuns. Hello there, Bob. How are you? All right. Yeah, not too bad. Excellent. Thank you very much for coming on. Uh, you're the chicken breeder. Um, how are these chickens selected? Because they look beautiful. Yeah, they're great. Um, it was based on their compatibility with one another and their photogenic qualities. So uh, we took Polaroids selected from, uh, from those pictures and then started them living together, seeing if they got on um, uh, and really see if they, if they welded together as a group. You know? Now, when you say compatibility, do you mean these chickens have personalities and you know and different chickens would get on differently with other chickens yeah sure yeah really? um, they establish a pecking order um, you know some just won't settle down <laughs> sorry sure, yeah. sorry I can well, that. <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah it was important to make sure that they were okay and they're all compatible all getting on yeah they seem fine there's yeah. obviously only one cockerel is that always the case yeah otherwise it's likely to be trouble really yeah do you yeah. take bets Lots of um, okay <laughs> uh, how long have they been in their new home i was here a couple of weeks ago nothing else was here but the chickens were so how long yeah. have they been in here adjusting They've been here about three weeks now it was really important to get them settled into the house it's a really alien environment for them so uh, do they yeah. travel well chickens because they come up from kent didn't they? yeah they they don't like travelling too much, they do get a little bit stressed, so we just wanted to get them here, get them settled and get them laying eggs, which yeah. is important. How, well, how are they feeling? They're fine, they, they, they seem fine to me, yeah. And what, what's so distinctive about these breeds? I mean, they're all sort of different colours. Do they like stroke, me stroking them or petting them, or are they not into that? <laughs> no, they don't, they, I mean, they like attention, but um, the distinctive thing hey, about them... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't seem to like the distinctive that. thing about them really is that they're, they're traditional rare breeds, mm -hmm. whereas before in the house they've all been hybrids, which mm -hmm. are commercial egg-laying birds. Sure thing. So, uh, and also we've chosen them on, based on the colour of the egg that they lay. Lovely. And uh, they lay in many different colours. And uh, there you go. Oh, that is lovely. First, Look at that. Uh, is that the first, first one? Egg. Well, the first one in the show, yeah. Look, there's cruddle over it and everything. Yeah. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Listen, I'll Don't give that, that one back to you. Thank you very much, Bob. Unfortunately, okay. uh, I can't really let you stay any longer because it's a tight ship here, security-wise, so if you would. You can right. smile while you do it. Don't worry. You don't owe any money or anything. 
I hope he makes it out alive. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Bob. Yikes. Okay, now the return of Big Brother, thank you very much, has uh, sent the nation obviously into a frenzy. Uh, there's rumours uh, of speculation about the design of the new house. They have been rife uh, since we started back in January. Those rumours, which I'm here to refute, include Big Brother's uh, housemates being allowed one hour per week to visit friends and family. <laughs> Not true. The new house has got rising damp. <laughs> Yeah, as if. Uh, so Big Brother's going to have to postpone the start date uh, to carry out repairs. Therefore, the first of the new episodes of Big Brother will be filmed in a hotel once again. Not true. And uh, two rooms in the house will revolve 180 degrees. Do you know how much that costs? This will happen later on in the show to totally confuse the contestants. Not true. <gasps> However, one rumour I can confirm is true is that this year Big Brother has become even tougher. The musical instruments, the games, remember uh, Dean from last year, the games and books are banned. Josh, remember, was a total bookworm. Only one magazine per person is allowed in the house. Now, bear in mind, that could be nine weeks. One person, one magazine, nine weeks. Absolute nightmare. But, ladies and gentlemen, those are the facts as we know them. Uh, you've seen the outside of the house. Uh, we now are about to give you a world exclusive of the inside of the house. In three, in two, in one, let's show. And how nice does it look, I have to say. Very impressed. Uh, first things first, we've got like a coffee table set up going on here in the kitchen. Very clean kitchen, obviously. We always want to make it as clean as possible for, uh, before the guys come into the house. They've got a beer fridge here, which they can keep beer and wine in. Bear in mind, obviously, always remember they've got their own budget to contend with. Uh, and in here, we have an empty fridge where, of course, they'll be uh, leaving all their stuff there as and when they get it. A couple of things I'm just looking at, which I like the look of, uh, although there could be potential conflicts on. Uh, very big, big fan of the uh, floppy bread bin, which we are loving very much. Also, and I can see potential conflict coming here, is the tour of the kitchen consists of this. My favourite thing about it, I've got drawers here. Now, think, Paul and Helen last year, slight sexual tension, making, I don't know, let's say for the sake of argument, pesto. Uh, they're boiling the pasta. Uh, one needs a sieve, the other one might need a colander to uh, shake off uh, a rocket salad. And as they open the two drawers together, there's a clash. Clashes lead to conflict. Conflict could well lead to nominations. Think about it, kids. OK, as we come over here, we find our sofas. Now, I can exclusively reveal to you uh, that the deal with the sofas are the executive producers of Big Brother weren't particularly happy about the sofas, so uh, they had them here for a while, uh, didn't, decided they didn't like them, so now they've got new sofas in there. We've got two L-shaped sofas, which I think look quite cracking. And this is my favourite thing. And we need to hurry up here, because we want to get in and out of this place as quickly as we can. This is the Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2 style shower room. Check it out. Isn't it lovely? Okay. I mean, it is beautiful. It's exceptionally hot. Uh, 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 I don't want to see that. That's people's names, and that simply cannot happen. Lovely. Uh, as well as a uh, big bath down here, obviously, is a Big Brother staple. We also have a communal twos up shower. Two people can come in the shower at the same time. We can just. Oh, there we go. Absolutely lovely. There we go. Just a little wet of the hair there. But once again, I have to stress to you, Big Brother controls the hot water, so who knows when there'll be hot water for them to have a shower. And this is the only time you will be able to see this on television, ladies and gentlemen. The Big Brother toilet. Obviously here, full of uh, ladies' accessories and uh, a bit of soap. Before we get any complaints, that was a small flush. You won't be seeing this at all anymore. And lastly, one of the bedrooms. Let's just have a quick look in here as I look around. We've got six beds in here, two doubles, uh, two singles. You do the math. Uh, we also look down there, if we can just get a shot. No wardrobes as always, just hangar space. And lastly, a little bit of storage space in there. Some lovely white towels for them. Mm, now I know my conditioner and that's summer fresh. Uh, now obviously security is massively tight uh, within the Big Brother house. So before we got in here, before the housemates were in here, we had uh, security guys, like with balaclavas and everything, uh, they kind of like just totally blitz the house for any bugs, for any mobile phones, for any hidden devices. And this is what happened, homie mummy, I'm scared.
breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, off the back of that little insert, is that even though the security guys there look kind of like road sweepers, they were in fact highly professional and they found the Karma Sutra which had been stored in the cupboard above the cooker. We'll give you uh, more of that breaking news as we find it out. Now down here ladies and gentlemen uh, is the diary room. Obviously can't go in there for reasons that are obvious uh, but more breaking news at this point we were going to tease you with the diary room chair but roughly one hour ago the diary room chair was rejected. The official line by uh, the big mother of Big Brother Ruth Ridley said that it looked like and I quote a pork chop. We have another chair, luckily it is in town, it's coming from London, it should be here uh, by nine o'clock, but at the moment we Big have no diary chair, I repeat, no diary. Big Brother will launch on Channel 4 shortly. Can everyone please leave the Big Brother house? Okie dokie, yeah, that's pretty much us, it for us. Like I said, no diary room chair, we'll tell you as much about that as we get the news. Before I leave it, I'm back here in nine weeks, so I just want to do one. <laughs> How cool is that? You never get bored of hearing that, I tell you. Okay, so, in a couple of moments, uh, the first of 12 people will be walking down these stairs as we speak uh, to enter Big Brother House for what could be nine weeks. Nine weeks later, one person will be coming back up these stairs, £70,000 the richer, and the victor of Big Brother, as they say, Hello Elstree! <sighs> hello Elstree indeed. Uh, hello Elstree! There's no one in there when I came out. The people will be uh, walking down the stairs here, the press will be stationed here, and at the very, very bottom of the stairs, the Vena will be waiting with the first Victi uh, and their family. We've got some lovely people here. Who are everyone? Yeah! Are you sure? Yeah, you just like this. It's raining, it's pouring, it's raining, it's pouring. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, however, it has been quite a fraught and frenetic time uh, for the, the people going into the Big Brother house, both them and their belongings. Let's take a look. 9am and the housemates' bags are taken to a top secret location to be thoroughly searched. Meanwhile, in a separate location across town, each housemate is being photographed. Each bag is searched for any clothing with logos, mobile phones, bugging devices or hidden messages to the outside world. This is a military operation. It's crucial that none of the housemates or their bags come into contact with each other before entering the Big Brother house. Yes, indeed, they're cheering because they're happy. They're happy because they're here. And off the back of that, I have to say, we found the following things. A mini display, which we don't have uh, three, yes, count them, three uh, containers of uh, shower gel from a hotel. A bizarre wooden toy that looks like it belongs in Hellraiser 2. And uh, a uh, blowing up uh, ball there and a, a lovely phone. Thank you very much. Go and, go and burn that, will you, all right? Thank you very much. Okay, now the housemates are obviously uh, still being kept uh, away from you. Uh, they're secluded. But one thing we do want to find out as much about them as possible. So we'd like to be joined by some of their family. Uh, first up, lovely Maxine. Hello, Maxine. Uh, you are housemate number six's mum from Cambridge. I am indeed. Touch her, people. Go on, you can. <laughs> okay, steady. I didn't, I didn't say molest, I said touch. Uh, Maxine, is your son uh, any annoying habits we, we need to know about? Um, how long have you got? Well, about 30 seconds. All right, well, um, he picks his nose. Um, <laughs> At any specific time, does he, is he just a nose picker all the time? or Mainly at the dinner table. So while you're eating in front of him, this man picks his nose? <laughs> yes, he does. You, that's, you're not responsible for that, are you? No, I don't pick my nose, no. No, well, I, he, was, <laughs> he wasn't dragged up, I can tell that, by your, your lovely outfit. Okay, now you brought something uh, that reflects his personality. Uh, would you... Dear Lord, what do you have? Oh, hello. Talk us through these. No, I don't want to smell them, please. <laughs> you have to smell them. Really? Oh, they're revolting! What are you doing? <laughs> Maxine, and, and these reflect his personality. Is that the worst thing about him? He actually stinks. You think of him. You, you think of these socks, yeah, this is him. Thank you very much, Maxine. Moving on to Claire. Hello, Claire. Uh, you're housemate number five's wife. Hey. I am. Hi, how okay. are you? No, very well, thank you. You've got lovely eyes, haven't you? You're just piercing. <laughs> you can touch her too, if you like. <laughs> Okay, uh, your most endearing feature about uh, number five's uh, features? Cute little bit under his chin, just there. It's lovely. very cute, okay. very lovely. 
bit of a giveaway. And and this, would you mind just showing us what this is? Some sort of Tintin dog, obviously. This is uh, this is Tintin's um, snowy that Sandy bought me from Barcelona, um, and uh, he brought it all the way back on the plane on his lap in that position. Absolutely lovely. Thank you very much. Uh, best of luck to both of you. I hope you enjoy the next nine weeks. And the rest of you, thank you very much for coming down. Uh, after the break, we'll be going into the nerve centre of Big Brother to find out how they're feeling with only minutes to go until the launch of Big Brother 2002. <gasps> Plus, celebrities reveal simply why they can't get enough. See you in a minute. Welcome back. <laughs> that was almost a, a deadly silence on cue. Welcome back, everyone. It's Big Brother's Little Brother. God bless you. OK, uh, about 10 minutes to go now uh, before our housemates go into a very anxious night for only, not only the 12 housemates, but for all of the team uh, that are responsible for making it happen, one of whom you might remember from such interviews as last year's Big Brother's Little Brother. Oh, it's uh, Philippa Jones, Hello. Chief Cheese. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thanks, Dermot. How are you? Yeah, I'm flying. Should we walk and talk? Oh, go on. Then. Lovely, in this late spring okay, day. Go on, um, so. We just uh, kind of got a little bit of an impression uh, from some of the family there about uh, the housemates. What can you tell us? Uh, there are 12 of them. <laughs> oh, you're good. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not giving much away. They're very, very nice people. I can't, I'll tell you, I shall give you a wee exclusive. Yeah, please. There's at least one Scottish person in there. <laughs> How about that? It's just <laughs> some bizarre coincidence. And, and what have they been doing in the last couple of hours of freedom? Well, uh, for, for the last, we've had them in a hotel since Wednesday and they've been on site here uh, all of today. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, at the moment they're going mad, they just want to get in the house because sure. they're in little rooms with their chaperones. They've been with only one person for the last uh, 48 hours and they're sick of each other's company sure, now. Yeah. So they just want to get in the house and meet each other. Uh, and what's giving you the biggest headache, uh, you know, over the last couple of days? Keeping it all secret, Dermot, you know, because uh, particularly the press got hold of a couple of names on Wednesday and, and we, the big thing about Big Brother is you don't want them all to meet each other before they go in the house or know who each who each other are, mm -hmm. so that's been the biggest headache for us, putting them under jumpers to smuggle yeah. them out of hotel rooms and things. Uh, and what's set for tonight? What's set for tonight? Well, we're going to be putting the six boys in first, then we're going to be putting the six girls in, mm -hmm. and then we've got a little surprise for the viewers tonight. A brand new feature in the first week of Big Brother, uh, which you'll find out about tonight on the Channel 4 show with... Yes, a clue! I can't tell you. It's about, it's about uh, voting. In interactivity. It's we, about interactivity. I like yes. that. Thank yes, you very exactly. much, Phil. Okay, we'll be it's catching up with you, uh, I'm sure, over the next nine weeks. Yeah. Thank you very Cheers, much. Thank you, bye-bye. Yeah. If I give this to you, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Okay. so you've seen the house. Sorry, okay. <laughs> and off he goes. He's a busy man. So, uh, you've seen the house, you've seen the garden, uh, you've seen the fans, you've met the family. The last, of course, is the Big Brother studio, which this year in Elstree is in the George uh, Lucas stage. Some of you might remember it from uh, the uh, Dagobah system. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, he filmed a couple of uh, movies here. It's okay, guys, don't worry, you go about your business. This is a stage where Davina's going to be doing uh, Big Brother, as it stands. Differences this year, we've got an etched uh, glass blueprint, for want of a better word, of the house. Plasma screen's there, and of course the big one there. Uh, friends and family will always be allowed in, as always, standing room only this year. Uh, the thing that freaks me out more than anything else, don't worry, guys, you go about your business, it's all cool. Watch your head there. The thing that... Uh, it freaks me out most is after the research we've done, we picked up just a couple of facts and figures before we show you uh, what's up next. It's taken 131 days and 75 workmen to assemble a studio, 250 lights, uh, and the, the one that really freaks me out is 20 kilometres of cable uh, have been used. Over there, as you can see, it's a sound gallery. All right, boys. There we go. All lovely. They don't want to wave the lovely union-affiliated men on great deals. Lovely. And over here, of course, is the lovely Wendy, our senior producer. Hey, how are you going? Oh, very well. How are you? Whew. Uh, yeah, it's a bit dead busy show tonight. Well, this is the gallery for those uh, people that aren't uh, au fait with that, the people who didn't watch last year. What goes on here? Well, uh, these here are uh, two of the producers, mm -hmm. and uh, their job is to control the gallery and uh, basically relay to the directors here what stories they're interested in, and the directors follow housemates and mm -hmm. what they're doing. Okay, okay. Directed by here. So they're kind of in control of the whole gallery. Over there? 
These are two of our loggers who unbelievably are logging everything that the housemates say for the next nine weeks. Is, is that why they kind of look quite relaxed at the moment? Because they have <laughs> yeah. nothing to do? Uh, yeah, nothing to do yet, but they're, they're sort of limbering up the fingers. Okay, and down here? Down here is our directors. Uh -huh. Uh, two directors here and there is in the house there's 35 cameras and it's the director's jobs to um, follow the action using all these cameras so it's quite a, anyway, quite a big task. Thank you very much. Very okay, much. certainly appreciate it. We're catching up with her uh, over the next couple of weeks. Here we've got uh, where everything's taped over the next nine weeks. Over here we have, uh, of course, our the best part of 40 monitors, I believe, uh, including the classic 32, uh, which is uh, the toilet shot. No, 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 not allowed to see that. And over here is... The voice of God booth. The producers come in here, they tell them what exactly is going on, and the most interesting thing about this is they can control the water and the lights and the locking system. And over here, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to be spending uh, our home for the next 66 days. It's a big brother's little brother studio, which I am very impressed about. As you can see, uh, this is our studio. We've got the plasma screens and so forth, and a nice little eye-shaped uh, sofa right there. Now, normally on a Friday, we take you to the incredible travelling diary room chair as it goes out and about around Britain to uh, give you a chance to air your opinions. However, the design is top secret, so for one week and one week only, we sent the incredible travelling tea chest. Because we can't show you the diary room chair yet. I can't wait to see what this year's housemates look like. I'm hoping uh, that there's going to be a lot more bizarre, freaky, nutcase, egomaniacs in the house. And also, always on the first week, you think, oh, he's going to win or she's going to win, don't you? Apparently, there's a, a transsexual. The new house looks fantastic. The rooms, I thought, were pretty kind of Japanesey and minimal on a kind of Ian Schrager kind of way. In fact, it's, it looks a lot better than my flat from what I've seen so far. If I could take one item into the Big Brother house, it would have to be my tweezers. I'd take a football. Eyelash curlers. My helicopter. A hot water bottle. If I could take a celebrity into the house with me, uh, Frank Skinner. Robbie Coltrane. I think it'd have to be my boyfriend, Vernon Kay. Pluto. <laughs> He's not a celebrity, is he? It'd probably be Davina, actually. I'd take Brad Pitt and I'd, you know, well, you know what I'd do. <laughs> Um, to entertain the other housemates, I, I, I do this, look, see, you, you see that? I can do things with my arms you wouldn't believe are possible. I'd be very good cleaning the kitchen and I'd be very good in the garden. I've had a maid all my life, so forget the cleaning. I don't think I'd last very long in the Big Brother house. I'd probably only last a couple of weeks. How about you? I would win, hands down. I'd probably get voted off quite quickly. Two weeks. A week. I'd like to at least get to the halfway point. I can't wait. It's going to be a great summer. It is indeed going to be a great summer, and that was uh, quite a frenetic show, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you got a good picture uh, about the whole of the Big Brother studio and what we're going to be doing for the next nine weeks. I'm very excited about it. Uh, the final preparations are just being made right now uh, for Davina's show tonight. Tonight, one of 12 will enter the Big Brother house and not emerge for 64 days. We're going to give you the chance to witness that very prestigious moment live on uh, Friday the 26th of July because we have 1,000 special balloons right here which we are now about to release. Uh, if you, if, all you have to do is find one of these balloons. These poor gentlemen have been uh, standing with the balloons for the, bus, the best part of uh, 40 minutes and their arms are just about to break. We're going to release the balloons. There are tags on the balloons. All you have to do is fill in your details, uh, send them in. We'll announce the winner on the 15th of July on our show and then you can come in uh, to on the 26th of July for the big, big brother last bash. Release the balloons, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, boys. Away you go. The balloons now being released as we speak. I can assure you the mysticism of the beautiful live television. We are back six days a week on E4. There they go. Join the video on Channel 4 right now. Thank goodness for that. <laughs>